Hello everybody and welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise! Today I just noticed that we actually have new decorations we could make. Um, including this. Um, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna be making a couple of these. Let's see if there's any new other new gems. No, no there isn't. But we do have satiated jewels. This is stupidly easy to make. Like, we can already make two of them. And that's a good skill to have. You can have set decorations, and we have plenty of space to put them in, so let's just put them both right here. Like, yeah. <laughs> we can't really make much else. I mean, we could make a single resist gem, except ice. Um, you could make this, which, I mean, might be handy. Um... Hmm. Could grab fortitude. <laughs> I mean, with me dying as much as I have, which albeit hasn't been much, but I have been dying. I, why not? We can make it. And it's not the worst skill, and we do have a slot for it, so... There we go. So we now have two free meal and a fortitude on top of our armor. Now get hunting. Which is pretty nice. Which is where slots come very much in handy. And I'm gonna eat. I didn't actually plan on starting right now. So, um, yeah. This is weird. <laughs> I haven't emptied my inventory yet either. I was just at the blacksmith because I was considering making a longsword. But the only longsword is the Almadron one. Yes, there's these. We could do those game. I kind of know that. Whoops. But the Almadron one is actually weaker than our Switch Axe, so I'll just stick with the Switch Axe. Save the Almadron materials. Now, I already have a pretty good idea what quest I want to do, so... I want to come after Kazu. Let's let's kick Kazu's butt. Uh, he's yawning as soon as it starts. That's always a good sign. It is nighttime, so it does it does make sense. I'd be sleepy. Um, I could just go to a camp, but I kind of want to grab the perm buffers from over here. So, and the honey. Honey's always helpful. We don't need honey. But honey is always useful. Get a bunch of perma buffers. You know what? I'm gonna wreck these bugs. Because we might actually have enough time to do it. And I'm all for wrecking bugs. Because quality stomachs. Those are new. I've been seeing them down there every single time we've we've come along here, and I'm like, I should really be killing them. Especially now that we're in high rank, because they'll always have something by the time we're here. It's not a, it's not a half bad uh, farm for them. If you want to literally start an expedition, come in, kill the two of them, and then leave and start a new one. Um, probably be faster in a lot of cases than waiting for them to respawn and grab new stuff. Once again, I could just be using the subcamp, but I'm not. I'm honestly I just I just like the current buffers. Plus I'm also a little worried that if I do it that um I'll run out like I'll run short again. Because yesterday I could have as you all probably noticed, I could have captured that monster the Great Roggy, and had like a 15, 16 minute episode, if that. So like... <laughs> I don't really want that to happen again. I don't think that'll happen with Kezu. Because, uh, Kezu's resistant to water. I will, we'll pop in here. I know we can be attacked right now, so this is a little dangerous. But, uh, yeah. 
Five means he still takes damage. He's not immune. But he is taking reduced damage. I think 15 is the baseline. So, yeah. It also do with killing some Riamba at some point. God damn it, Kazu, I just got here. I'll take your material. How Kazu flies is hey, two pale extract. That's not bad. How how Kazu flies is just confusing. It shouldn't be able to. It's so fat. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm gassy. I shouldn't be gassy. But I am. I'm me, though. I'm always gassy. It's just how I work. Now, I want... I want to test something. Kensu has no eyes. Okay, yeah. Thought so. I was pretty sure Kezu was immune to those, but I had to make sure. Now, as my pulling up the resistances showed, if you want Kezu to go down quickly, fire. Fire is your best friend. It is Kezu's only weakness. So, keep that one in mind. Ow. So, jeez, it's hot. It's literally so hot, I am I'm feeling mildly ill because of the heat. At, at the time of recording this, I know it's definitely not hot to a lot of people. It's probably around 24 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that would be in Fahrenheit. That's normal Nova Scotian summer temperatures, though. Too bad it's not deep summer yet. Um, but I am also, as I believe I've made mention of in the past, definitely on stream, I am highly sensitive to heat in any form to the point where literally when I have a shower the water to me is hot to everyone else here it's lukewarm like I am that sensitive to heat I always have been so yeah this heat wave sucks it's like 2 in the morning it shouldn't be this hot Yet it is. Ow. I might start between recording sessions turning my AC up as high as it goes. Just to try to cool it down a little bit here. I would have it on while I'm recording, but the white noise from it is already being picked up on the lowest setting. So, I'd really rather not have it any higher. Ow. Blue hair, save me. And free meal activated! So now we have now, we technically now have carried 11 first aid meds with us. I was gonna say a little help one of you two, but Kazu just decided to leave. <laughs> She's like, nah, I've bullied you enough here. I'm gonna go. She took her lunch money and left. 
Watch now that I have the fortify skill, I'm not gonna die again until I'm not using the skill. Hey, this is convenient. The fact that it plays music like this does still bum me out. I wish it would just be pure silence during this. Amazing. Well, I tried. <laughs> I was trying to just ram the Kezu, but... I, I still stand. I don't know if I mentioned this on, on video. I've definitely mentioned it to a friend who watched the Monster Hunter movie. They could have greatly improved the scene in the Narcilla cave, especially because Narcilla don't group up like that, um, by just simply having it be Kezus. Kezus don't really group up like that either. But that also would have at least give it some that scene some character. Instead of just being oh man, spoopy spiders. Oh man. Spoopy scary spiders. It doesn't really work with the, the two. Um But like can you imagine how much better that scene would be? They enter the cave, and all background music stops. That, in any form of medium, just always has a bit of an uncanny feel to it. Because we're used to there being background music all the time. So when there isn't, we peek up, and we're like, hmm, what's going on? Where'd the music go? For a Monster Hunter fan, they would at that point go, oh my god, there's a Kezu here. For the non-Monster Hunter fans, they're going to be, well, as mentioned, they're going to be on edge because the music stopped. Why did the music stop? Ow. But instead, they decided to go with Narcilla. Because reasons, I guess. I will try not to rant too much about that movie. It's just so bad. And I get there's a bunch of like Silent Hill fans in the corner, like first time. But at least the Silent Hill movies are enjoyable in a stupid kind of way. Like, they're definitely not good movies, but they're kind of fun to laugh at. The Monster Hunter movie is just depressing. It was obviously just made for people who don't know the series in the slightest. And probably a huge part of it was just so that, you know, the director could give you know, the, the lead actress something to do. Because mm, maybe it's just me, but I did not like her acting. <laughs> She seems to always be in his movies. Ow. Oh, damn it. Little help. Latte. Latte. Snow. <laughs> Screw you guys. <laughs> Hey, it's tired. I missed. It's gonna go eat a popo. It would really suck for a Kezu if it ran into Mr. Popo.
Cause like, it might seem like a joke that Mr. Popo, like in Dragon Ball Z Abridged, of Mr. Popo being like the strongest being. But that's actually hinted at in the show. Mr. Popo's just a pacifist. Like that is established. Mr. Popo is just a pacifist. That that's why he doesn't fight. Did I seriously get stunned and then stunned again? While still being stunned. <laughs> I should really be talking about what we're doing. Jeez. Hey, we just broke one of Kezu's parts. Ow. I don't know what part we broke. I think it was one of the wings or a leg. Might have been a leg. Kezu is hard to tell what you've broken on. Because just as you beat on Kezu, it just gets hurt. Like, okay, it was a leg. It was the... Okay, no, yeah, that was the leg we were at. I was supposed to say it was our leg, but... Nah. It was the leg that was closest to us. Clear again. You know, I said those dual blades didn't have much sharpness, but uh, our axe also doesn't have much sharpness. At least has more yellow. Oh, right there's a case of using a potion just as Latte heals. Exactly as intended, but it worked. Now, I will show off those other switch skills at some point. I'll definitely not be showing off the switch skills for every weapon, because quite simply, I just don't use every weapon, so I don't really, you know. I don't really have much interest in using them all. Reload. Alright, swing, swing! Damn it, Kazu! Ow, damn it, Kazu! Play nice! I say that as if my freaking axe isn't effectively an AoE attack. Ah! Uh. <laughs> Loaded. This was probably a really bad time for this. Yes, yes it was. I'm uh, paralyzed. At least I'm paralyzed in the healing spot. Thanks, Snow. You actually hit me for a change. Oh, no, you don't. oh yes it does. Because we need to sharpen. I really like how this switch axe looks. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, Nullberry. That'll come in handy. I always forget to bring Nullberries with me whenever I'm uh, hunting a Kezu. Even though I probably should, because that's probably what leads to me getting paralyzed a lot. Eh, I don't want to capture it, I just want to keep beating on it. I don't know if you can break Kezu's butt. This, yeah, ow. I, I had already pushed the buttons. There was no stopping that. You're my best pal. At least I haven't died yet, so there is that. Get 
Ready for a wing massage! I'll reload what Kazoo's down. CD is very angry. Yeah, I can't blame it. I'd be pretty angry too if someone kept whacking me with an axe. So. Especially an axe that turns into a sword. Hey, free meal again. 12 for state meds. That's the bonus of free meal. Like. Depending on how lucky you get, you could literally have max potions lasting for days. Like. <laughs> Like, with a maxed out free meal, more often than not, you'll... Ow. You're probably gonna end up using max potions, of which you can carry two of, having technically three max potions. Now, given every usage is a 45% chance, well, you're seeing, well, now 13, um... We're getting a lot more activations of this than you would guess, because that's how probability works. Every chance is a flat 25% chance. Every time we do this is a 1 in 4. Which is pretty handy. So free meal doesn't mean basically just, oh, you get 25% more stuff at two points. No, it means every time you eat something, you have a fairly good chance, a 25% chance, to not consume it. Fast travel over to here, and we'll get there before Kezu. <laughs> Gather up this, honey, because there's no Azurus to steal it. And hey, it's morning. Oh, hey, a boulder lizard. I'm not going to hit it. I don't hit lizards. Yeah, free meal is a skill that you definitely want to get to three. Because of just how good it is. And there's some Anlogombi left. Or no, a Logombi appeared. Making the some left. I thought they both left. I was like, wait, what's gonna appear? I'm kind of an idiot. It's also kind of late. Ow. Damn it, I can't turn around to spank your butt. Take that. I'm still mildly curious if you can break Kezu's butt. Yeah, yeah, I know, it's right for the it's been right for the capture. Fourteen? Oh, damn it, Kezu. Wait. He's slower. He kunied. Hey, we knocked it off the ceiling. That's fairly handy. 
That's dead. Man, I love how I figured out you could skip that. <laughs> Earlier episodes where I'm complaining about that, people are probably just like, push B. I could swear I have push B in the past, in my defense. And I desperately needed a drink. Let's come grab these bones. My bones. Yeah, Legombi. Yeah, the, the, the other Legombi left. The Legombi bros are no more. And nothing has appeared. <laughs> so this is now just the turf of that Legombi now. At least it's not the turf of the Kazu. So we killed that. Killed it dead. Four target rewards. It still feels like, on average, you get more target rewards for capturing. But that might just be confirmation bias. I really need to sit down and actually test that at some point. Here we are. Let's turn these in, because we basically have almost everything done. The only thing we don't have is to capture a monster done. Power buffers are easy. Um, you know what? Let's, let's grab this one. Because we'll probably be doing two Shrine Ruins quests. There's being a sale going on. I'm gonna come and actually have this, you know, do it with with uh, Kagero. I'm having a sale. Yeah, we can we can sell decorations here too. Imagine that. To try your luck. Yeah. yeah, this is good enough. Now, um. I'm not doing great on ammo. So, what I'm gonna do really quick here is I'm gonna stop and buy 450 of this. Coming right up. Um, we have a lot of ammos we just simply don't have any of. Let's get some Pierce 3. I'm not gonna buy a huge amount. An excellent purchase. Um... I need more trap tools. That's that's for sure. While they're on sale, let's just buy a bunch. Um, that's a lot of money, but it's a worthwhile investment. Darn it! <laughs> okay. Now, empty the inventory before I forget, because I know I'm going to if I don't. With that, I thank you all very much for watching, and hopefully I shall see you back here next time for a comedy. See you all then.